welcome back to my channel Dorian here welcome to Dorian is daily so today's video is a highly anticipated video from my channel I have been receiving messages from you guys on Instagram as well as here on YouTube asking when I'm finally going to be reviewing the Anastasia plus Nicole Guerrero glow kit and I'm finally here today to go ahead and get that film for you guys but before I get into the review and demo, I want to go ahead and chit chat with you guys. So yeah, if you're interested in seeing this video, then go ahead and continue watching. Okay, so the reason why I have been MIA on YouTube is because I all about that glow video including my favorite drugstore highlighters and after I was done filming that video one of my bulbs broke so I wasn't able to film and have a good lighting um, right now I'm using two umbrella lights and a little small light that came with it I don't know what it's called but the one for that one that's facing like in the middle towards me now that one broke so I had to order a new one off of eBay and didn't get here until yesterday and I was gonna film yesterday but I had like a thousand things going on so I wasn't able to get around to doing that and then also because I didn't think that, that light was gonna come I placed the order for a ring light and the light ended up showing up so I guess I'm just gonna have like a whole bunch of new lighting but anyway you know I guess the more the better it can make my videos more higher quality and more popping and ring lights are really good for pictures so that's not really a bad thing but yeah that's the reason why I have not been able to film for you guys so yeah let's just go ahead and jump out here is the glow kit and it does come with a sleeve which is right here and it's basically the same color as the actual um, glow kit it just slides off and to describe the packaging it's just a pink glittery shimmery packaging with Nicole Guerrero Guerrero's name see I'm trying to say it like sexy and Spanish and Latin sounding and they coming out right Nicole Guerrero with her name like in this holographic um, color which a lot of people are using highlights this color now I don't know this gets like a new thing like the iridescent silver blue type highlight which sort of work for like if you're kind of fair and pale skin but I don't know how that would look like on someone in my complexion but you know that's like the new thing but anyway it comes with six different shades which I think are all absolutely gorgeous starting with kitty cat right here and this is kind of like a rose pink type color maybe you can say it's kind of gold then we have forever young which is kind of a pinky light champagne color in my opinion then we also have daydream which i've never seen any type of highlighter like this before it's kind of like a orange and gold type highlighter is absolutely gorgeous um i am wearing that one today mixed with glow getter and 143 i have daydream on it's kind of like a blush topper like right in here hopefully you guys can um see it i'm gonna come in you know down here we have forever lit which is a iridescent silver bluey type shade and then we have glow getter which is a pure golden champagne then we have 143, which is a golden bronze type color, which these I think will be really good for medium to dark skin tones. They're absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into some specifics about the palette. I'm gonna go ahead and get to swatching. So just to give you guys some specifics, if you care about that kind of thing, like I don't care about stuff like this, but I know a lot of people do, so I'm just gonna go ahead and include it. The highlighters are 16 ounces each and it's six in the pan, which totals to 4.5 grams. And the disclaimer on the back says, they're highlighters for intense luminosity. Complementing shades can be layered together to brighten cheekbones and your decollete area or worn separately over eyelids, brow bones, and inner corners of the eyes. 
So that's like the basic we use highlighters for. Um, some people also use it down the bridge for the nose. I did that as well, which I think I'm gonna add a little bit of glow getter, just a little bit. And it swatches beautifully. There's not even a lot. I'm just gonna add a little bit right here. It's just so pretty. But yeah, now I'm going to show you the swatches. I'm so excited. Like, you guys, this is just the most gorgeous highlighting palette ever. It is so beautiful. Okay, so starting here with Kitty Cat. What I'm gonna do, I already swatched the products on my arms. So I'm just gonna insert swatches on my arm because since I already did my makeup, because I actually just came back from um, dinner and shopping with one of my good friends, I can't really um, swatch them on my face. Although, like I said, I am wearing a few of them on my face now. So hopefully with this new lighting, you guys can see, but I'm just gonna tell you about the formula. So the first one we're gonna discuss is Kitty Cat. And like I said, this one is kind of like a pinky gold type shade. This one is a bit patchy. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that in the swatch. And what I mean by that is it, it's kind of chalky, like the formulation is not as creamy as some of the other ones, but it's still a pretty good shade. And I think this will work really good as like a blush, like on darker skin or somewhere in my skin tone. Next, we're gonna talk about Forever Young. And this one is, like I said, maybe like a lighter pink champagne, which will also work for that one as well. This one is extremely creamy. I would say out of all of them, this one is the most chalky, I would say, is Kitty Cat. Next, we have Daydream. Like I said, this is gorgeous. I'm wearing it as a, like a blush topper. It's so pretty. Like I said, it's like this orange shade, orange gold. Never seen anything like it before. It's beautiful. Next up, Forever Lit. And this will not be one that I will be wearing because it's extremely too light for me. Really good for someone with fair and kind of like pale skin. It does come off with a blue type iridescent feel so it's not just like completely silver so you could use this um as like your inner tear duct highlight or maybe like in your brow bone depending on the type of look that you're going for and then next up i have glow getter and glow getter is probably one of my favorites outside of daydream glow getter is like extremely gold it's just so gorgeous. I think this will work really on any skin tone, if you ask me. The formulation is very creamy. It's probably the most creamiest one out of the entire palette. And I don't know if all of them are like this. It's just a particular palette that I picked up. This one is like the most creamy. And lastly, we have 143, which I think that's Nicole's code for I love you for her subscribers. I think she is just so sweet. But this is like the bronzy gold, and this will be really good on darker skin tones. This one is creamy as well and very metallic. So overall, I would say I do like this palette. I think it is worth 40 bucks. Now, would I want to buy this for $40? No, but I think the color payoffs are just so gorgeous, and they're just beautiful. And I do love Nicole Guerrero, so I don't mind supporting her and I'm a makeup junkie and I of course love highlight. Highlighting is like my favorite thing to do when I'm doing makeup. So I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, if you're wondering about investing in this palette, whether or not you should get it, I definitely do give it an A+. Plus. So a really quick tip, you do not have to apply any Fix Plus to your brush when you're applying your highlight because it's so intense that you don't really need that. If you would like to, you definitely can do that because it will make it pop a little bit more and just have like this wet, just gorgeous highlight on your face. But um, just as a pointer, I use the e.l.f. Small Stupid Brush to apply my highlight. And I've been using this with all my highlighters lately. Excuse my voice. Um, allergies kind of going in and out. But yeah, I've been using this to apply all of my highlight lately. And I think that it's just a perfect brush for highlight. It's good for contouring. And it's just a really tidy. So that does conclude this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely check out the Nicole Guerrero Anastasia Glow Kit. 
if you're in a Sephora near you, if you're not really sure still about purchasing it, just go in the store and swatch it for yourself. And trust me, you're gonna fall in love. I don't care what skin tone you have, it's gonna be a shade in there for you. And I just love, love, love the glow kits. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. And I wanna say my next video will either be a lip swatch video or a Sephora haul. Cause as you guys can see behind me, I do have a couple bags. Those are like two different trips. It's not just one. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next video.